If you're like many Flutter developers, you probably enjoy composing widgets to build your UI screens. However, unlike your business logic, which lends itself toward unit tests, our app's UI present a unique testing challenge. After all, the unit test for a function that performs a mathematical operation is self-evident, but the equivalent for a widget tree is far less obvious. But don't fret, today I've got a handful of powerful tricks to share including a new one that I don't think you know about. The basic pattern of writing tests is that you call the code you want to test, then run some more code to verify that original code did what you expected. Here's how that might look in Dart. That works great for a lot of operations, but how can we programmatically test the visual appearance of a UI element? This brings us to the first tool many developers reach for, golden tests. Golden tests are a pattern where Flutter caches image files for parts of your UI, then later re-renders those UI elements and compares them against the cached image pixel by pixel. To get started, write a test like this, which calls pump widget on the UI component you want to test, then call matches golden file to verify the output. Now run Flutter test with the update golden flag to have Flutter generate all the actual golden image files you specified in your matches golden file calls. The new files will appear in your test directory. Be sure to open them up and verify they actually look right. Finally, run Flutter test without the flag and Flutter will make sure your UI components match the golden images down to the pixel. The Flutter framework uses this technique to detect regressions and other subtle rendering bugs. And if you've never used a golden test before, you might be excited and thinking it's time to start. But if you're already using golden tests, you may be thinking not so fast. While powerful, golden tests come with a few pros and cons that aren't obvious up front. First of all, Golden tests produce a steady stream of image files throughout the entire life of your project as they are updated, which requires a storage solution. Of course, you can throw them in your Git repository, but if you have quite a few golden tests, for the love of all that is good in the world, don't do that. Second, golden tests can result in false positives, since even a single different pixel causes a failure. This means tiny changes in emulators or hardware can raise the alarm. It's worth noting that golden tests were designed more for components rather than screens. A golden test to verify a single button will be less susceptible to subtle test failures than a golden test for a screen that contains the button. Flutter developers also use golden tests in really clever ways like generating their UI previews to upload to the Google Play Store and Apple App Store, and those tricks are awesome. But in addition to golden tests, there are a few other tools you should have in your toolbox. Flutter's Finder API is the most direct way to verify correctness in most situations. Available methods can handle most cases, including find by type, find by key, find text, and more. Let's consider the same button. Here's a Flutter widget test that builds this button and verifies its size, text, padding, and background color. Sounds like that button is pretty well tested to me, all without adding a golden file test to our code base. However, there is one scenario where golden tests have long been the only real way to verify correctness and that is custom paint and any other widget that draws straight to a canvas like box decoration. However, I'm excited to share that paint pattern is a new tool for this scenario. Here's how to think about it. First, recall that from our perspective as Flutter developers, custom paint widgets are little more than the previously mentioned drawing commands sent to this canvas object. Canvas.draw commands don't actually draw anything to your screen. They only store drawing instructions for other layers deep within Flutter to run the necessary shaders, composite their output, and render the pixels you want. Paint Pattern works by exposing its list of drawing instructions for you to run assertions on. 
Start by finding your custom paint widget. Then call Xpex, passing in your widget and use the paints matcher. This paints parameter is a mutable paint pattern object. So use the cascade operator and start attaching your expectations. There, now your custom painter is fully tested. And there are tons of other methods on the paint pattern class too, including clip rect, clip path, rect, clip r rect, path, line, arc, paragraph, shadow, image, and others. We have covered three types of UI tests in this video. Golden tests, which are useful for testing with pixel-perfect accuracy, primarily for individual components. Finder tests, which are the go-to and most common way to verify widget tree correctness. And paint pattern tests, which programmatically verify the drawing instructions stored on a canvas. That's three more tools in your toolbox for testing all of the beautiful UIs that you're building with Flutter. And for everything else about Flutter, head to flutter.dev.